Hey, what's going on, everybody? Switchfoot Clan here today, and welcome to another Two is One Tuesday. Today, we are going to be reviewing kill streaks that um, Tyler Zeus One has uh, provided us a YouTuber name. So, thank you so much for that. Um, thank you for the support that you've been showing my channel. It means a lot to me, and just thank you for everybody else that commented too. I hope to get to your kill streak uh, setup or the challenge that you gave me um, in the, the later coming weeks. But today we are doing iPhone Star for Hire, I believe is how you pronounce it. Now, when I first looked at this person's channel, he was mainly uh, or uh, a different kind of video game player. He wasn't playing a lot of Call of Duty, but the videos that I did see, he was running kind of similar kill streak setups as the one I'm using now, which is a UAV, an orbital VSAT, and a swarm. Now, let me give you some of the pros and cons to this. Uh, let's start off with the cons. The cons to this is it's a little bit harder to get. It's made for more of the moderate to high skilled level players in the sense that you're mainly going to go straight to your uh, swarm. You're, you're not getting any other kill streaks that is going to kill any players. All you're getting are these UAV assists. Now, these are also very helpful. The UAV assists, which is one of uh, the main pros, I think, personally, because I probably got anywhere from 80 to 90 points of uh, my score streak um, straight from my other teammates. There was no risk or harm for me getting those, and uh, it made it a lot easier, and I was a lot more uh, confident. As well as the Orbital VSAT, it gives you a very confident feeling that you know everywhere is. Like, I can see this person's to my left. I get the 4C4 throw on him, as well as I get the backup and have my chance of uh, dominating them. So the Orbital VSAT, um, sorry, I'm switching into the pros a little bit. The Orbital VSATs really give you a lot of um, confidence, and you're going to be able to do your little pre-firing or shooting through a wall, and that's going to really help. So a little more about the cons. Um, this is, uh, you know, it's a little bit harder because, you know, you, as I said, you're not getting very much help from uh, another kill streak to get you straight to it, and you're going to see right coming up here how close I came to not being able to get this kill streak. It came right down to... Uh, uh, orbital VSAT assist so that's why I like the orbital VSAT assist but yeah um, that the it's you're going straight to it so it's gonna be right around a 10 kill streak so it's a little bit it's 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 hard but it's very very doable in the sense that uh, the way he has it set up now a little bit about whether I would use this or not um, it's a little too stressful for me I'd rather uh, run another kill streak other than the UAV uh, to get either kills or points, whichever one, maybe a uh, EMP system I would probably use over the orbital or over the UAV because you're going to get more points from it because you usually pull that out right after your orbital VSAT, so you're going to be getting 20 points over and over and over again uh, versus the sometimes uh, 10 to 20 points that you get from your UAV. So I hope you guys enjoyed my review on that, and please let me know another YouTube commentator that you want me to try or kill streaks that you give me. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed. 